Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on, uh, goodness, what day is it already? 21st of June, fr Thursday the 21st. Crikey, has the weeks fly past? So, um, looking at Euro dollar first, and well, yesterday ended up in a relatively small inside day there. Uh, looking for hourly pursuit, you just see the way we just ch effectively chopping around a bit here. There's uh, there is the potential of a, a, a rollover. We, uh, I talked about the uh, the, the uh, flag pattern yesterday and the potential for that to continue through. Well, uh, it may just be wanting to do so. It's, a, it's done a little triple bottom, a sort of triple bottom along these lows here. It may just run a little bit lower yet uh, and work this out. It's almost almost down to the S1, although it's taken a bit of a bounce. It's uh, not. Uh, not simple movement in this market at the moment uh, in terms of what we're looking at uh, there is the chance we could just bounce back today towards its R1 at some stage hasn't yet hit the S1 um, but uh, it, just about anything can happen it's certainly not a clear market uh, on the euro here um, uh, if we start breaking these lows uh, then really maybe just could look for some short opportunities could be looking for shorts here but it look, almost looks like from the previous couple of days that uh, well we might have put a, at least a, a near term low in okay cable what's, what's, up? what's in for cable today well we've got the Bank of England meeting today so um, I don't uh, expect too much movement this morning although uh, you never know people may be positioning themselves and getting out of positions as much as anything else so it's not always about getting into the position it's getting out of the positions they're in at the moment um, one thing with cable it is making almost new daily lows at the moment and it is soft and selling now uh, it's timing those lows in a weird old way. Uh, there may have been an opportunity. I'm just looking here. Retrospectively, very easy to look and say, well, yesterday afternoon there was a nice opportunity at four o'clock there to sell into that uh, uh, 21, but um, it certainly has gone from that sort of area uh, and is, well, looking relatively weak. Now, uh, whether we get any support before or as the morning wears on, we'll see. It's getting a bit. Um, RSI is getting low here. Maybe let's just check and see on this time frame. No, it isn't oversold as such yet, but uh, certainly uh, through its S1 already. Um, and as I say, looks weak. And it may just be traders positioning themselves for any sort of uh, any odd comments coming from the uh, monetary policy summary. Now there isn't a speech after today's event, so. Um, Generally, we we see increases when there's a speech. The expectation is it for it to be left alone and the voting to stay the same. So we'll see what happens uh, as we come here. Now, a shock in this, which could cause the uh, the pound to drop, would be the voting to drop to uh, from uh, the two zero seven to one zero eight. Uh, in other words, um, someone's uh, left the uh, the the uh, more bullish side of things, the hawkish side of things. So we'll see, but uh, for now um, it's uh, looking soft with uh, not a lot of opportunities there is <laughs> yeah, the final bit there at the moment at least. Uh, daily dollar yen, um, well as I said yesterday it's uh, it's a difficult one and yes sure enough yesterday just an inside day small range again I mean it looks uh, like we've had some decent ranges of late but these uh, these ranges are very tight the ho overall mor mor morning movement <laughs> is very very tight um, spreading over the, the whole uh, month so far of about 100 pip so it's uh, what's that 109 45 110 60 so it's not even a 100 pip range for the month coming down the time frames well we were back into this uh, area of body uh, previous highs and a bit of body it may roll back this morning a bit uh, it seems to run it run into early early sell-offs and then put push it pushes back up I mean it pushed back up again it's sort of late uh, yesterday was uh, say late it wasn't too late in the afternoon at two o'clock they just uh, pushed on there but uh, does have daily pivot etc to come back to if it does start rolling over but um, as I said it's not my favorite to be in 
Aussie dollar continued to the the, uh, the move down and it's uh, I mean it closed down lower than your previous day's low but uh, within the body so inside bar but it has already um, looked like it's broken the prior lows there and it does look weak um, it's come if I can see some data it'd be really nice on this four alley but maybe I'll just skip the four alley and go on to the 60 I've got no data on that at the moment either yeah so looking at the Aussie 60 minutes and uh, I've got no data hardly any data kicking in here oh, here we are um, just filling the blanks here um, so it's uh, it has made new low actually today there but from uh, the previous uh, on Tuesday's low it's broken that um, where to today was well, already hit the daily pivot s1 oh, it, uh, it could as well just chop amongst itself here um, little for me to do really um, selling to any rallies is the only thing that could be done there but as I say it's already had um, a, the pre-morning move and or pre-day move Canadian dollar so what's going on here now I was looking at um, some analysis sentiment analysis last night and uh, I did notice that uh, there's a lot of people getting uh, short on the Canadian dollar <laughs> or show short I should say short yeah, yeah effectively short on the Canadian dollar getting um, sorry getting short on the US dollar stroke Canadian dollar um, sitting in the short positions there expecting it to roll over any minute now and we know what happens that when it starts getting a bit uh, too many retail traders are getting short on something it will go up so uh, <laughs> be prepared it may push up yet eventually they get it right but um, they lose a lot of money getting it right so uh, at the moment it's uh, got potential just to carry on chipping up here I guess um, it's uh, yeah it's, it's not, a lot, not a lot to do uh, on this and um, best avoided as I normally say on the Canadian dollar for a lot of people and it's it's funny I did read some text in our trading room yesterday that a couple of people decided to leave it alone now Phew takes some it takes some effort to get them to leave it alone how how much do you want to lose before you stop trading it but um it is a swing trading uh, pair and it can provide decent day trading opportunities when it's in a a decent range but at the moment it's uh, it's tight there's probably a, a money still uh pushing it further up out of the reach and at the moment it shouldn't be it shouldn't be messed with as they say so um as one to leave alone it's uh it may at some point of course roll over but and it's a steep old climb but uh it could still go further and push these uh, traders out of their positions uh should i be looking at alongside well i don't like buying into tops either and it may be that, that as soon as you buy this it uh, it does roll so uh best left alone so that's the Canadian dollar news today. As I said, we got at 12 o'clock. We got the official bank rate uh, details from the UK. But before then, um, if you trade in the Swiss, there's a Swiss National Bank's uh, conference uh, press conference at 9:30. Can kick into the euro sometimes that uh, affect the data on the euro, the vol uh, volumes on the data, the volumes on the data, volumes on the euro. If I could only say that. Um, aside of that, uh, UK public net borrowing at 9:30 may be a bit of a uh, bit of effect on the pound, but realistically, the pound may be safer not trade until post uh, the news at 12 o'clock. Um, that is pretty much it. Oh, we have got uh, Carney speaking at 9:15 this evening. I'm just checking out. Oh, yes, and that's an important one as well because often uh, his speeches or the speeches made at the Mansion House dinners. Um, they can create volatility in the market not that I'll be trading at that time of the evening but uh, just to be aware at 9.15 there's uh, the Mansion House dinner and we could see some volatility in the pound if you're leaving positions open at that time that's it for me, have a great day bye for now mm -hmm.